Hello again, everybody, and we welcome you to the Matilda Mossman Show. I'm Bruce Howard, joined by the head women's basketball coach at the University of Tulsa, Matilda Mossman. And, you know, we said this last week, sitting in these same two chairs, that it would be a difficult week on the road against two really good teams. Unfortunately, you didn't come away with a victory. Yeah, two of the uh, top four teams in the conference, and uh, having played both of them earlier, uh, kind of knew what to expect, and and really we knew we had to shoot well in order to uh, be successful. And uh, unfortunately we didn't shoot well, but I'm really pleased with how we're guarding people. We're still holding teams to a low field goal percentage. We're holding them to a low number of points. Um, you know, we're not putting teams at the free throw line in excessive amounts. So I think we're, we're being really solid defensively. It's just about us, uh, you know, not having confidence offensively, not being in a position to, to uh, make shots when you're wide open. And, you know, and, and when that happens early in the game, it kind of has a domino effect. And um, so people miss shots and then, uh, you know, it seems like everybody misses shots. But against Tulane, we actually got off to a great start. And uh, we were playing without Wyvet, and um, you know we were, thought we were on a pretty good roll there. But then um, all of a sudden we can't make shots again, and you know they do some things defensively, um, and it just didn't turn out in our favor. Yeah, and in that first quarter against Tulane, you're only down 16 to 14, shot about 40 percent. You can take 40 percent, right? It, it, yeah, anytime we'll take 40 <laughs> percent. Uh, you know we found out in the five games that we've won this year, we've scored 60 points or more than 60 points in all those games. And we said that before. If we can get to 60, we have a pretty good chance because we feel like we're going to defend well enough uh, to still win if we can get to 60. Now, halftime, uh, you're down 32 to 25, which is doable, certainly, mm -hmm. and, and at Tulane. Uh, but then they had a really good third quarter. I don't want to say put it away, but they certainly put you in a bad spot. Well, and then we go three for 16, you know, yeah. it's 18%. So, again, uh, the common theme for both of those games at Tulane, out South Florida, we shot 29%. And um, some days that's the best we can do, unfortunately. So we got to keep plugging away, keep uh, getting our, our guys in position to get open shots and, um, you know, hope that at some point enough drop in in a row that that kind of gets us on a run and, and uh, builds our confidence and uh, helps us shoot better. Well, and you uh, lose by a final score of 64 to 50, uh, to 47, I should say, uh, to Tulane. You had a couple of players in double figures, Maya Mayberry and Rebecca Lasky, both with, uh, the, with 10 points. Lost the rebounding battle, which isn't terribly unusual for your team because usually you force a few turnovers and get some possessions that way, but uh, they out-rebounded you by 12. Well, part of the rebounding disadvantage is we miss so many shots right. on the offensive end that it allows the other team to get defensive rebounds. And so I think the rebounding thing becomes skewed. What, what we really look at is how many offensive rebounds do we give up? And if we can keep that number, you know, at a, at a, a low number and, uh, you know, we feel like, uh, you know, we've done our job. But, again, because we miss so many shots, it's just uh, impossible to out-rebound the other team. And so you gave up 15 offensive rebounds to Tulane, and that's probably too many then. Yeah, too many. And uh, then when they get uh, points off of those rebounds, uh, you know, like we had a game uh, where we got 19 offensive rebounds but we only scored eight points off the offensive rebound. So, I mean, even if you get an offensive rebound, you still have to score off of it. And uh, too many times uh, we're not doing that. Again, just uh, poor field goal percentage. And, uh, but, you know, we're gonna keep plugging away. We're gonna keep uh, defending. And, uh, you know, one day those, it's all gonna come together where everybody's shots are falling and it's been, we just need that confidence boost. Yeah, I was going to say, and, and when you are successful, you're forcing 19, 20, 22 turnovers. Mm -hmm. you, you only have 15 against, uh, uh, against Tulane. So uh, it's just one of those things where they took care of the basketball a little bit better and you didn't force enough. Right. Again, defensively, uh, I like where we are, I like what we're doing, um, and the fact that we are forcing turnovers. And then on the offensive end, we're not turning it over. And uh, it just goes back to we, we've got to shoot the ball better. So you go from New Orleans over to Tampa, all part of this road trip. You get ready to take on a USF team, which now appears to be the bell cow of the league, uh, you know, number 14 yeah. in the nation. Very, very, very good basketball team, aren't they? Yeah, it, it's a, it's, it was, Tulane was the beginning of a really tough stretch for us because 
We played Tulane, Central Florida, South Florida, and Houston all really early in the season uh, before we knew much about ourselves. And so now we're starting that round again uh, where we played the, you know, the top, two of the top three teams on the road. And now we've got Temple at home who is ranked above us. And then we'll go to Central Florida who is now the number two or three uh, team in the league. So it, it's a tough stretch for us and, and we have to capitalize uh, against Temple at home um, uh, for that reason. Well, not a terrible first quarter against the ranked uh, Bulls as you were down 17 to 12, but then second quarter they got you and you, all of a sudden you're down by 13 at halftime. All of a sudden we can't make shots again. <laughs> I mean, it just it sounds like a broken record, yeah. but again, our guys are competing, uh, they're fighting, they're doing what we ask, and uh, you know, it's disappointing when you can't make shots, not, for, not just for me, for them. It's disappointing for them. They, again, it's about confidence, about getting discouraged, and so our job is to not let them get discouraged, but to continue to just try to put them in position to be successful. Well, and in this day of COVID, uh, you forget there are some other bugs, other flu bugs, which occur. Uh, and, that, and that happened to Yvette Mayberry. But she comes back and, and, and flies into Tampa and really gives you a nice booth with 18 points. Yeah, she, she what, didn't travel with us to Tulane, uh, had a stomach bug uh, the day before and just didn't feel like it would be safe for her. to. She was feeling better but she still had a little bit of a fever and, and still had some of the effects. So didn't think it was a good idea for her to be surrounded by our team and then potentially pass that bug along to other people. So we definitely missed her in that uh, Tulane game. I mean, you look at what, then she joins us in Florida. Uh, then she, she's our leading scorer against USF, has 18. You know, we could have used that 18 uh, against Tulane the night before. And I, I would, I, you know, we talked about having two people in double figures uh, against Tulane. Um, I think uh, Maya and uh, Rebecca. And then you add uh, Maddie Washington came off the bench and had eight points for us in that Tulane game. So she's another one that if we can get going offensively, that that will help our cause. Jessica Evans continues to progress for you, obviously. She had uh, seven points in the game against USF and 11 rebounds. So she continues to show growth, doesn't she? Yeah, she's now become our leading rebounder on our team uh, as a freshman. So uh, you've got her as our leading rebounder. You've got Wyvette as a freshman, our point guard, our second leading scorer. You know, there's a lot to look forward to uh, in the future for those two. And you didn't get crushed on the boards at USF. It was 33 to 28 and you had 13 offensive rebounds. You actually converted into nine points. So that's, is that a little better? That's a much better, much yeah. better. You know, nine points, that means out of 13 rebounds, we probably uh, uh, put it back in at least six times, seven times. So sometimes you're getting free throws off of the putback. So, um, yeah, I, I, if, you know, if you are missing, it is important that you try to get offensive rebounds. Now, one thing about USF that's really impressive, not only are they a good team, but they, they seem to share the ball. They had 19 assists, and if you're a coach and you can kind of get 15 and above, isn't that a pretty good level? Well, they're a really good team. They're, they're ranked 14th in the country. Um, they've got scores at every position. Uh, Stephanie Manunga for them, or I'm sorry, Betty Manunga for them, she was a terror. I mean, just rebounds, scoring. She was bringing the ball down in transition and blowing by our guards. I mean, she's six mm. one and, and she's a ton to have to deal with uh, inside, but now she's dribbling the ball down the floor and now you have to contend with that. So uh, just a lot of respect for their players and, and staff and, and what they've done there at South Florida. And, and they're definitely carrying the banner for our league. Yeah, 19 and 15 for Manunga. Awfully difficult sometimes when you have a player like that. Uh, it's almost like you got to stop everybody else, huh? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you, you, when, you, uh, uh, when you add, when their post player is bringing the ball down the floor, and, and not just bringing it down the floor, bringing it down the floor with a purpose, right. with an intent to get to the rim, kind of like Amari Thomas at uh, uh, Cincinnati. Um, Mia Davis does the same thing for Temple. they got bigs who are capable ball handlers that really play with a purpose. All right. Well, the Hurricane uh, getting ready for a home matchup coming up. That's Wednesday against Temple. We'll talk about that coming up next on the Matilda Mossman Show.
are the American. What is true blue? It's true loyalty. Supporting others with unwavering commitment. It's true innovation. Thinking creatively and strategically to make a difference. It's true strength, taking risks and standing up for what's right. True Blue is a 125 year legacy. Find the true you at the University of Tulsa. We're back on the Matilda Mossman Show, and as we take a look at the standings, Coach, again, jumbled up in the middle. Right now you're in seventh place, but that team right above you, East Carolina, you've beaten them twice, and you're only down by one in the loss column. So certainly some, some ability to, to move upward. And there, there you see Temple just a couple of notches above you. So you have Temple on Wednesday, and, and you know if you want to catch them, you probably got to win that game. Yeah, we, we need that uh, for standings purposes. The, the difficult thing right now is, uh, East Carolina has a win over SMU. So we have the same number of wins, but we're not going to get to play SMU. So right. um, I know for seedings for the tournament, it's going to be based on winning percentage. And uh, we're at a huge disadvantage uh, when it comes to uh, play, you know, having to go head to head against a team, even though you beat them twice, they have an extra win that you, you're not going to be able to get. I was going to say, and that means you probably don't have a tiebreaker <clears throat> come into effect because you have a disparate number of Games. Right. They're, they're, for what we were told, they're doing it solely off of winning percentage. And, you know, we will have played USF twice. Right now, East Carolina has only played them once. And I don't know if they're – I think it was on the schedule for them to make it up last week, but then USF was on pause. So that game probably won't be made up. So, you know, it's, it's just – that's just the way it is. Yeah. Uh, I feel like we've – you know, we've played all the good teams and we'll have played them twice. And uh, still – sitting here in sixth or seventh place and we were picked to finish last so um, you know I, I think we've done our due dil diligence uh, we've competed against the good teams and uh, more than anything that'll prepare us uh, you know hopefully for playing teams for the third time in the conference tournament. I know you guys and you're you got a great coaching staff working hard at it how do you how do you I know this is a if, if you knew this, you make a lot of money bottling it. But how do you how do you get your team to make shots? You know? Yeah, you're right. I, I mean, mean, obviously, we haven't figured it out yet because we keep keep uh, shooting 29 percent uh, and scoring, you know, uh, 50 points. But and, and you but, scored uh, and you shot 29 against Temple the last time in the right, loss, right? Right. Yeah. And, and we were up two at halftime, but yeah. at halftime against Temple, we were shooting 40 percent, 38 percent in each quarter and had a two-point lead and then all of a sudden the bottom fell out in the second half where now we're shooting in the 20s again but that that's not that's not who we are uh, we feel like our guards are our strength and we're going to continue to expect certain things out of them and you know again it's about confidence it's you know when you haven't shot the ball well and your first shot in the game doesn't go down it 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 just it deteriorates and so we've got to get get them built up to where we can make that first couple of shots in a game. And then I think, you know, we've got good enough shooters that if they can make a few early, then that will continue throughout the game. And I've seen you practice. I mean, you guys work hard at it. Uh, you make shots in practice. So eventually, hopefully that'll bleed into the game. Huh? It will. You know, we, we just hope we don't run out of time. <laughs> Temple coming up on Wednesday at 6, and then you go back on the road. You guys dipped your toes into the water a little bit in Tampa. You get a chance to do it maybe again in, a, in Orlando coming up. You, you take on UCF. That's a good team coming up Saturday. Yeah, they're well. ranked uh, second in the conference right now, and I think they have one loss. And um, So, again, it, two tough games last week, two more tough games this week. Uh, we've already got Houston out of the way, and so uh, we just gotta, we just got to keep paddling and uh, keep uh, hyping our guys in terms of being good shooters and continue to get reps, and, you know, it, it'll all work out. Coach, thanks. Have a great week. We'll talk to you next week. All right. Thanks, Bruce. Head coach Matilda Mossman, University of Tulsa, women's basketball. That is the Matilda Mossman Show.